This is an overview of the full screen navigation menu by Unlimited Elements for Elementor. Let's get started. To get started, drag the full screen navigation menu into your Elementor column. What this widget does, when you click on the hamburger icon, it will open an overlay over all of your website, which shows your menu items from your WordPress website. The first thing I'm going to go over before I'm going to show you the settings of this menu is I want to show you how to place this in your Elementor website. To place it, we're going to jump into Advanced, and over here we're going to open the positioning. Inside of positioning, change the width to inline auto, just so it won't go full width. Over here in position, you can select absolute or fixed, depending on what you want in your website. Usually when using this type of menu, users will want to use fixed. Once it's fixed, it snaps to a point inside of your artboard, and then you can snap it to the right or to the bottom or to the left, to wherever you want, and space that in, a, in pixels actually. So let's put over here 30 pixels. I spaced it from the right side and let's push it 30 pixels from the top. So this is usually how users are going to use this type of menu just to space it exactly where they want on their website. Take in mind that when you're using fixed positioning, this means that even if the page scrolls down and there's a scroll in the page, the menu will always show over here in the exact position you placed it. So that was about positioning. I'm going to jump back into content and over here in content, you can see that you can select any menu that you have set up in your WordPress website. As into the matter of depth, this is showing right now sub items. So not to show sub items, I'm just going to use one and maybe later on, I'll turn this on just so we can talk about it as well. But right now you can see I turned off the sub items by showing only depth of one and it's showing only the parent items. Awesome. The next thing is styling this icon over here. So let's jump into style and you can see we have all the settings for this. I'm just going to take you over them quickly. So first of all, I can make my icon background different. The icon inside, I can make a different color as well. And we have hover state. So for example, on hover, I want it to be blue with a white icon and we got that set up. The next setting is for padding. This is a really important setting. This pushes, a, this pushes our icon inside of the box. So if I'll make this smaller, the icon will be bigger. And if I make the padding bigger, the icon will be smaller. Hamburger size is for the whole box over here. So if we push this up, the whole box will be bigger and that way we can make our icon size bigger or smaller as well. Next setting is for radius. This is just to make this rounded. If you want, you can make it rounded. And of course you can also add a border. I usually don't add one, but just so we can see how this looks, let's just add a small border over here. Maybe give it some width and this is how it's looking right now. Awesome. So the next setting is for menu background. As you can see right now, the background is classic with a color of black, which is exactly what we're seeing over here. You can change it to a gradient, for example, and choose a couple of colors. I'm going to show you a cool effect that you can achieve by changing the background to an image. Let's just choose one of the images over here. And the first thing I want to do, let's work with this open so you can see the changes. I'll change this to cover and then with positioning, you can position your image. So position, let's go for center right and that will move my image to the right over here. And you can see now you can see the typography even better. Let's jump into menu items over here in menu items. We can push up the typography just to make it more prominent so you can see that. And of course you can change the colors and the color of the underline underneath that's animating. So let's just change the color of the underline so you can see how that looks looking awesome. And over here we have menu item margin. 
This will push up the margin between the items just so if you want to space your items even more, you can push this using the up and down keys on your keyboard. Of course, the setting is responsive and also the text are responsive so you can change the font size depending on the screen resolution. I'm going to jump back into content and change the depth to three again. Bring back my menu and inside of the style tab, this time I'm going to go into menu sub items and into typography just so you can see that we can differentiate between the main items and the sub items. So let's give these a color as well so we can see the difference and we can give them even a different underline color. And now we can differentiate between the main items, the parent items and the sub items. I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful and I'm going to see you in the next video.